record it and do all that. So look, we about to do this. We about to do this. Um, we about to do this C Mac. The C Mac the Loke. You feel what I'm saying? Feel me? My my reaction and my feel is on, you know, how I feel about that situation. You feel what I'm saying? You know, and so uh, I'm going to get that popping right here, though. And I'm going to say this video and it's, it's going up on YouTube. So, look. I know everybody seen my um, see my No Jumper interview or whatever, right? Everybody seen my No Jumper interview and they see that, you know, they see how I um, how I explain, you know, how, about L.A. politics and how every hood is different and how, you know, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, some hoods go for certain shit, some hoods don't, some hoods are just serp as fucking haters. You catch what I'm trying to say? And also, I want to point out how every hood has hood hoppers. That's just like in inevitable, nigga. Every hood got hood hoppers. Every hood got niggas that's just from they hood because they got family from they hood. They hiding behind names and all that shit. You feel what I'm saying? And, and I want to, before I get into everything that I'm going to say, you feel me? I want y'all to understand that this video right here is in no disrespect to C-Mac the Loke, homie. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I understand his pain. I understand where he at mentally and I understand... How he feel, not just as a gay banger, but a, but as a human being. You feel what I'm saying? You know, we all go through a time in life where we just want to be long. You know what I'm saying? And we influenced by the music and things that we see. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? That we that we look at. You feel me? That's oh, oh that's hard. That's gangster. Or that's tight. You feel what I'm saying? So this video ain't no um, disrespect to him. It's just to point out the biased politics and the faultiness in these niggas and the difference between a fake ass hating hood and the difference between that and a real ass hood. You understand what I'm saying? You got to understand the type of gangsterism that I was raised to be a part of and the type of gangsterism that I got is, my nigga. I don't give a fuck, my nigga. If you my homie and you been solid with me since I met you, my nigga, ain't no paperwork came out on you, ain't no pussy shit came out on you, my nigga, then... Nigga, I'm nigga, nigga, I'm riding with you. I don't give a hood hopping is common. That shit is common, my nigga. That shit ain't nothing. That that shit ain't nothing out of the ordinary for LA gang banging. Which is why you can see um you know the the Facebook the Facebook uh the whole little Facebook get out came out, you know, on, on, on C Mac. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was on there pushing rolling sixties. Oh no, he wasn't even pushing sixties, then he was pushing Hoover. Gangsta Crip and all this shit, and the nigga popped up on the scene just a super five five Crip. Nobody know who he came from, where he came from. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody know where this nigga came from. That's crazy. But you know, he had a hood behind him. You know, his hood protected protect his his hood. I ain't gonna say they protected him. They um they vouched for him, and you know, and y'all and y'all out of state niggas and you niggas little niggas, y'all think just because a nigga got a hood behind him that he's really really that guy. And I'm not saying C Mac is a buster, so niggas, so y'all niggas ain't trying to twist my words up. What I'm saying is, my nigga, you can never take the opinion of no nigga you don't know. I don't give a fuck if it's ten niggas that's really from this game. They say, oh, he a real. You can't take them niggas' opinion. You gotta take. You gotta. You gotta do your own research, my nigga. You feel me? And I just think that. It's strange, right, how, you know, all this evidence, you know what I'm saying, all this evidence and all that thing came out on the nigga, you feel me? Nigga, they got motherfucking Facebook motherfucking uh, 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 posts, they got motherfucking uh, uh, pictures, nigga, he admitted he did it, nigga, he, all that, my nigga, and these niggas, feel me, feel me, just because he put up a ransom face, he's back to being a real nigga. Now, that's cool. I ain't got no problem with that, my nigga. But my question about that is, why the fuck my name's still in you niggas' mouth? If that's cool what he did, nigga, why the fuck you niggas still speaking on me then, nigga? So how am I a fake-ass nigga? You feel what I'm saying, my nigga? Shit, nigga. Y'all ain't proved nothing on me, my nigga. Y'all ain't got no Facebook posters or no pictures on me, my nigga. Y'all don't have anything. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all don't got a motherfucking thing, nigga. And I pulled up and ran my face, my nigga. So my question to you niggas is, why the fuck my name's still in you niggas' mouth? How am I a fake ass, nigga? Y'all ain't proved nothing. Straight up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to point that out, my nigga. And I want to point out that C-Mac is from a real hood. 
And he have real homies, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't hating on him. Niggas don't want to be, they don't want his spotlight. They don't want his shine or anything like that. So that's why his situation played out the way it played out. See, my shit was never about the hood hopping. It was just, it was jealousy in its highest motherfucking form. That's what y'all got to understand about my situation, my nigga. It was pure jealousy, my nigga. Because cause these bitch-ass niggas over here that was already jealous of a nigga, as soon as my homies did the, the gay shit, my nigga, here come these niggas to use that, what they used, feel me? To, to, so now they got a reason to not like me, my nigga, when they really didn't like me anyway. Because they was jealous of the motherfucking, they was jealous of the motherfucking, the, the, the drip, the swag. You catch what I'm saying? That's what y'all don't understand, my nigga. You feel me? So y'all can look at that situation and look at my situation and see the biased politics, the foul shit, and all the bullshit, how these niggas play. Then you got the nigga whack 100, my nigga. All of a sudden, oh, I respect him because he pulled up and ran his face. Nigga, shut up, nigga. You bust a brass nigga. You ain't going to say nothing to that nigga because he got his hood behind him, nigga. You don't want no problems with nobody with they hood behind him, my nigga. Dead homies. But I'm going to say this video, jump back up on here, my nigga. Somebody at the door. Sorry, shit but this is the same nigga who said i'm fake for hood hopping it's the same nigga you know what i'm saying who hated on me this the same nigga who did all that shit but all of a sudden nigga you feel me but all of a sudden you stepping this nigga you feel what i'm saying to be real and and to be solid and and, and, and all that shit nigga you feel me dead homies my nigga and it ain't no pictures on me so y'all need to pay attention that these niggas are really haters my nigga See the bitch in these niggas. See the bitch in my my ex homie. See the bitch in and and these niggas in the industry, my nigga. The same niggas in the industry that want to speak on me and say something on me is about to go right back to dick riding that nigga, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And it's proof on that nigga. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Not to say that he not talented. I just think they don't feel insecure around him. You feel what I'm saying? That's why they um gonna push him on through though. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, um, I'm gonna end this with God bless. You know, I wish everybody the best out there. I wish everybody success, my nigga. Los Angelo Mafia, y'all know how we do it, my nigga. You feel me? Pick it a little three coming soon, nigga, and I'm gone. So.